Okay, you guys, it's Sunday, and I'm meeting Joan for brunch. We're going to be going to snooze here in downtown Gilbert. It's starting to get a little more crowded, but it's actually really nice out, and so hopefully we get to sit outside and have some yummy brunch, and then I'm going to be going over to Haley's to help her with flowers later. Good gingerbread morning. I'm going to be starting decorating Christmas today and I'm just so extra excited about it this year because I'm incorporating some pink shades of pink into the entire home this year, not just in my beauty room. And it's going to be predominantly a traditional Christmas aesthetic, red and green with some pink thrown in. And it, it will work, I promise you. Just wait till the match. All right, but I came on here not to talk about decorating, but to talk to you about a little cheeky something I made this morning that's extra festive too, a little Chex Mix. I made a little mini batch that's only this bowl full because I don't trust myself making a whole big batch when I don't have, you know, people here to eat it with me. So obviously I could give it to my friends and family, which I do. I will be doing a lot of that with my Christmas baking, but I just wanted a little Tex Mex. I saw it on a Hallmark movie. I've been watching holiday Hallmark movies nonstop as usual as I'm starting to decorate. And I just really was jonesing for some and didn't want to go buy it. Um, cause I'm not someone like if I'm craving something, if it's not in the house, I don't go and try to get it. I don't know about you guys, but I did have peanut butter and a little chocolate and powdered sugar and Chex Mix on hand, so I made a little batch for myself, and I'm just going to graze on this throughout the day. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here with Santa. Now, this whole setup is going to probably change. Um, the gingerbread house will stay here because it's just majestic and huge, and it needs to have its mark in my kitchen, and my kitchen's large enough for it, I feel, that it doesn't overtake it. Um, so yeah, that'll stay, but I'll show you how it transforms. I also don't think that I mentioned we moved the hutch back over to this area in the, between the living room and kitchen. Um, the reason we moved the hutch is because we moved the piano into this area and we did use that last Christmas. I'll insert a little clip right here. I used it as like a mantle almost since we don't have a fireplace, but I felt like the hutch wasn't getting any love back there in the back corner and really I didn't enjoy decorating it or or repurposing it that much through the holidays because no one really saw so it. So I decided to move it back so this is where she'll be. But reason I'm mentioning the hutch as well is because I've been putting anything that I purchased new for Christmas or that also my mom has gotten me a few things as well um, have all gone in this hutch except for these items right here are not new. I just took those out from my area. But look, I don't think I showed you, but look, my mom found the matching mini mug. Remember, I, I purchased this little set the other day at TJ Maxx, and then she found her, I think, at Home Goods. And then she's so cute. So they'll obviously be in the coffee bar. Um, these guys were from Costco. They're going to go under the tree. Little soldier men, nutcracker looking dudes. And then these all were from my mom. She found this one at uh, at home. And I think she got this one because she said it looked like Holly. Um, and this one, I think she might have. I don't know if she got it at the um, Ivy. If she got it at Ivy and Sage or at Hobby Lobby. That's a piece from QVC she got me. I forget if that was last year or this year, though. Um... These are Ashlyn, so they're from Michael's, these two. I found this. I purchased this at Marshall's. Sorry, I think about it for a second. And then I've shown you these. These are from Walmart. They're so cute. See, this is what I mean by incorporating some pink. And we're going to do a, a gingerbread theme. Got some cute little marshmallows that are snowmen. Found those at Home Goods, And then this cute little soap dispenser. I call it, okay, let's see how many times I said little in this video so far. Um, and then the poinsettia, gingerbread poinsettia looking florals. These were from Walmart. 
setting up my king of Christmas tree. I'm going to have two in the living room this year. I will put the name of the tree right here. It just comes in three really easy to assemble pieces. It's pre-lit. It does come with a remote with different settings um, to adjust that. And there's timers even on it. This is actually a bag to put your tree in afterwards. You know how expensive these are? <laughs> I love that they include that for us. And then also gloves. So when you're fluffing the tree, you don't have to worry about getting scratches all over your hands because you've got these gloves on. They go all the way up to your elbows too and they help tremendously. All right, so we've got two trees. Oh, I'm I... so sorry. <laughs> Mama Bee's here. You can't I'm really... Trying, you... girls, I'm trying. <laughs> Mama Bee's here to help me with the two trees. So we're going to do one here and one on the other side. Those bows are probably not staying there. All right, let the magic begin. <laughs> fluffing the tree fluff with me. <laughs> she's further than me look right. i've only got one of my sections done but it's not a competition no but, but if it were i have a lot of years of fluffing. Okay, she means fluffing trees and we're also listening to christmas music of course but she had to turn it off oh. yeah because you know they'll they'll say no money for you melissa right holly my bubba? And oh, yes, you got a haircut I didn't show you yet. Harvey, Look how beautiful my baby. Yeah, you're helping mama and grandma with the trees. Good girl. Fluffin', fluffin'. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cool. Wow, now you don't have to connect it. So cool. Got before and after. I'm finally done with one of the trees and then I'm gonna try to replicate it almost exactly on the other side. Some of the ornaments will be different slightly. Um, the stars of this tree this year are these gorgeous sparkly larger ball ornaments from Kirkland. They're gorgeous. And then these beautiful picks from Walmart that look like gingerbread and then the ribbon I wanted to imitate like the ribbon candies so that's why they're in little clusters of four like that and then um this is I do consider it a gingerbread theme but it is still predominantly red and white more like a candy cane slash gingerbread theme um for the trees there are little hints of pink within the tree like you'll see these and like this has like a little pink bow just little accents of pink a little bit of pink in that down there so you'll see hints of it but it is predominantly more of like a red and white candy cane i'll give you better detail shots later when i do the home tour but just thought i'd share with you how it's going and then now I've got that tree to take care of. I am going to, I need your guys' opinion. So I think I'm going to put the garland up top here again. Um, but I'm thinking about hanging my stockings here this year. I've done that in years past once before. Um, yeah, but I'm not 100% because then I can't use this at all. Like I can't move it. Um, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> going to the ivy and sage christmas event today they're having like a specialty um like a pre-event to all their christmas cute stuff so i'm gonna show you guys and take you with me i see you <laughs> she's already got goodies oh boy oh my goodness gracious it smells good in here even so beautiful what'd you find oh goodness look she found lots of little goodies already oh boy
we are having our favorite salad at Blue 32. So I'm meeting Haley and Aubrey for some tacos and some kind of yummy drink that's over here. Some kind of mango drink that Haley told me about. Um, you can put alcohol in it or you can choose not to, but yeah, we heard this place is super good, so we're going for happy hour. This is what we're having, at least Haley and I. And then Aubrey's trying out a mango marg. Is it good? <laughs> Delish. Really good, yeah. This looks amazing. I did a birria and a carne asada. Of course, you gotta get all the sauces. Okay, Holly got wind of the bark box, so I've gotta be quick about it. I know, baby, hold on. Because this is so freaking cute. Thanksgiving dinner guest. This is her newest bark box. I was just cutting the tags off and she saw. <laughs> but look how freaking cute this is. A turkey, and she's going to love him because he's crinkly, and you can kind of, looks like, destroy him a little, like turn him inside out a little. She'll love that. So cute. Canned, some canned berry sauce. Is that what it says? Canned berry sauce? Yeah. I think this comes out, too. Yeah. Yeah, see, that comes out. So cute. And then also a pumpkin pie. And this comes out too with a ball, which she, that's what she's whining about. Then she also got two different snacks and then something to be put on top of her food, I think. Toot Loops, fruity Toot Loops. I don't know if I want to give you that. <laughs> Mixed berry flavor. I doubt she's going to like this. I, I'm very curious. You want to try one of these fruity Toots? <laughs> Toot Loops? What do you think? Okay, hold on. Sit for a second, please. Sit. Sit. Okay, Mama B and I are going to to go and see a dress for the wedding for Mama. She's the mother of the of the groom, of course, for my brother's wedding in January. So we're gonna go check it out. But on our way, we got some cheeky Starbucks. I didn't get a holiday drink. I just got my oat milk espresso that I love. But I wanted to try the new sugar plum cheese Danish. I know it's not super new. It came out last year, I believe. Um, but I've never tried it, so I don't know. It's very cute. It's actually much larger than I thought it was going to be. Look, this is like on my hand. It's pretty big. That's what she said. It tastes like um, like a really good Christmas jam on top of their a regular cheese Danish. You want to try it? Here's Mama, but she's driving. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Did you want to try it, Joe? No. Not feeling it. spin for her. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, very pretty, honey. Here I am. I'm about to go and get a spray tan, but I thought it would be worth mentioning showing you I'm wearing that um, shirt, the shirts that my dad made for my mom on the cruise, and I wanted to show you before and after, so here's how I look. Before, I exfoliated my face, exfoliated my body. My hair is looking crazy, <laughs> but let's go get spray tanned. Um, my nails are like an opalescent white right now, because I wanted something wintry, because I still have to film Christmas content, um, but we're going to Cancun, so it couldn't be too Christmassy. All right, off to my appointment. <music>